Hello, and welcome to Shape of the World. This is a game by Hollow Tree Games. I have never heard of them. I don't know if they've done anything else besides this. If you try to check them out on Steam, it just goes to the publisher instead. So I guess this might be their only title. I don't know. This game caught my eye. It was in Chrono.gg has this kind of silly little Literally clickbait, you are baited into clicking a golden coin every day. Basically forcing you to check out what sales they have and probably garner a lot more traffic to the site and all that. But you click a stupid coin, you get some pointless number, and then eventually that pointless number can turn into some free games, like Shape of the World. Not anymore though, it's already gone from there I'm pretty sure, but I picked it up when it was there and thought the game looked really interesting. It's apparently a, uh, it's a short game as far as I know, and it's mostly like a, an experience, a walking simulator. It's got something to do with like procedurally generated or populated, they say, environments. And it reminds me of stuff like Proteus and, uh, I know there's like one more game that I can't quite put my finger on that really reminds me of this, but I don't really know what it is, but yeah, just... It's something about walking around and seeing things. That's about all I know, so let's check it out. And before we do, as always, options menu. Uh, I did change a few things here. Notably, there was motion blur on. No thank you. I'm sure it looks gorgeous to people who can tolerate that. I cannot. I just turned that, that off. Everything else was... As it is by default, and uh, sensitivity obviously, you can select, uh, change all the sound effects and stuff, master, music, sound effects, that's good. Resolution and whatnot, and quite a bit of customization here, which is nice to see. Honestly, usually in small indie games, they tend to not have anything at all customizable, so this is quite welcome to see a lot of options. And yeah, we'll see how it performs once we're actually in the game more than the like 10 seconds of testing that I did. There's also controls here, just W, A, S, and D, spacebar, left mouse, right mouse to interact and throw seed, whatever that means. And you can't change, wait, you can change these. Oh, nice. I clicked here and couldn't do it. So I thought, oh, you can't change the key bindings. That's a little tiny negative, like minus point. It's not a minus point. Good, rebindable controls. That's always welcome. And I'll just cancel that. So yeah, good options menu as far as I can tell, and we'll just see how everything else performs. So let's check it out. That is, that is white. That is very white. And I can see the shape of the world gate over there. I guess this is snow, so can I just say nope and go the other way? No. Whoa. Sound? That was weird. I thought I, like, hit some kind of zone that, like, triggers the music again. Huh. So yeah, we're going here. Man, it's hard to see. It's almost pure, pure white. And if we go up like this slope... Yeah, it's just a wall. I see. I thought it was just nothingness, but I guess it's a physical wall. And you can see the shape through everything. And already I'm seeing... Oh, hello. What the hell are you, seals? No? If I click to interact, I do that. But it doesn't do anything. Right click, throw a seed, no. I can jump. Kind of a floaty jump. Yeah, already I'm noticing maybe some frame drops. I might have to tweak some settings. We'll see. I don't know if there's any point in me like... Oh, interact? 
Oh my god, what the hell? Pole vaulting, or what is that supposed to be? Huh. Whoa, interact. Yeah, thank you, I, I figured that out already. So you can, like, jump up? No, you can't. Huh. That didn't help. Yeah, can't really get past that. I guess you have to go around. Okay, so what's this white stuff? Whoa! Okay, I guess we're like activating the environment. Oh, I see. Staircase. Okay, but hold on then. Let's take a look around the side here. I guess that's that's all you can do. Ah, damn. I'm trying to just skip ahead, but I guess there's no point. Let's just make your way toward the, uh, not-quite-triangle. And not much else to do here. Alright. How far away can you interact from? Reasonably far, but you have to be within, like, a few steps of it. And that makes another path. Okay. Can I go anywhere else here? Doesn't really seem like it. Oh, a tree! Oh, I just killed the tree! Sorry! Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, seems pretty linear so far. I don't know how non-linear it gets, or if it's just linear all the way. Alright, kill more trees, I suppose. Bye, tree. And here's the actual gateway. The shape of the world. And not much else here. What are these red things? Yeah, nothing else around. Can't jump up with this, no. Oh, um, this might not actually look how it's supposed to. Can't jump up, though. And up here is where I... I've already been, I think? Maybe. Alright. I guess this is like chapter one or something. I know there were chapters and you can save and quit and stuff and come back between chapters, I think. Yeah, there we go. Entered a new area. Yeah, I'm noticing some... Uh, oh, the doorway is gone. I'm noticing some pretty heavy drops. I might just uh, tweak some stuff here, because I think you can just resume whenever. Uh, like anti-aliasing, I'm I'm not too bothered with. Let's try turning that down. Just see how that goes. And I guess it would be particle effects and ground cover, probably. But let's just try this. See how that looks. Already feels quite a bit smoother, but we'll see. It'll probably drop again. It feels quite a lot smoother for right now. And I guess you sort of just... Oh, you get choices, maybe. I was gonna say, just sort of move towards the triangle thing over and over. But now there actually seems to be some choice. Hello. 
Yeah, hold on. Let me try some more tweaking. Yeah, that didn't really seem to affect it. What the hell? Am I eating pine cones? Yummy snack? What? Oh, interact. Throw a seed. So now I have seeds for trees. An infinite number of them? Oh, I'm out. I ran out. Shit. And if I, like, eat some of these trees, do I get them back? Nope, they're just gone. Wow. Holy crap. You might be able to do some crazy skips with this. Oh, I got an achievement for doing something. Gardener, destroy 50 trees. Because gardeners just destroy trees. That's what they do. And I still don't have any seeds left. Okay, I guess I used them up. That's too bad. Can I destroy this giant one? Oh my god. Poor nature. I feel a little bad. It's like a flip book, almost, in how the terrain generates in. So yeah, we can go over there. Or I could check over here. I guess we've come this far. Oh, over there. We've come this far. Let's check out the right side. Oh. Okay. And a new area. But, like, if I go back now... It's still the same area, and if I look over here, oh my god, ah, uh, the frame rate, always. I can still go through there, and I guess change that part of the landscape or something. Still no, no seeds. One second. Let me just try lowering everything. Yeah, I mean, runs a bit better, but... Not by that much. I kind of think we just have to deal with it. Well, I just have to deal with it. I'm the one complaining. Yeah. Let's just see how it goes. Oh, right. I have to interact. And that does what? Oh, interact again? No. Oh, I didn't click that. I thought I did. And that just gives me a new staircase. Whoa, whoa! Wow, you're really fast when you walk on staircases. For some reason. And that just takes me over there. Are you saying I couldn't have gone there before? Or is it just, like, this is an alternate path? I guess it doesn't matter. And these are more seeds, I suppose? Oh, and that's gone now. Hold on, if I get down there again then? The staircase is gone, can I activate it again? Yeah, just tap any of them and you get the staircase back. Okay. Well, in that case, let's ignore it and go the other way. I just want to check... Oh, here are some more uh, more seeds. I want to check what's on the left instead. And this time, they're really prickly seeds. You can see the triangle, like, filling up. Yeah. And it's just the same trees as before. 
Even though I collected, like, a different type of seed. Huh. What? Yeah, what? What are you saying? There's nothing different about that specific tree. Huh? Click everything that says to click it. Oh? Secret? Maybe not? No, maybe not. Doesn't seem like there's much here. And water. Can I dive? I can dive. Can I plant trees down here? I can. That's a little weird. Oh, and these are new seeds. Whoa. Do they grow into anything different? Yeah. This time it's actually a new tree. I didn't feel like it was a different tree last time. The prickly thing and the pinecone thing, they seem to be the same. And I see, I'm like depleting the triangle power by using seeds. Though I, I wonder why, what's the point? Oh. So wait, can I like plant a tree here? No, apparently I can't. Uh, plant, like, a couple trees here. And then launch myself up. Ah, not quite. But that's kind of an interesting idea. Doesn't really seem like there's much like that in this game. You know, it's probably pretty uh, enclosed in itself. And yeah, there's the gate. Could just go over there. And these are just some more of those living things that don't seem to do anything. Yeah, they just take off when you click them, but do nothing else. Oh, another achievement! Creator! Plant 100 trees. Great. I did take a look at the achievements and they're all pretty much the same. Just, uh, plant trees, destroy trees, use seeds, beat the game, walk a lot of steps, stuff like that. Not really anything super interesting. Maybe there's more. I only took a quick glance. There might be some interesting alternative things to do later on. What the hell are these? They look like bloopers or whatever they're called in Mario, except without the tentacles. Oh, snakes! Do they come back? Yeah, they come back. I like the snakes. They even make a sound. Or maybe that was just the gate. Huh. Oh. And now I move forward with that. So I guess I kind of want to plant all my trees. Or a lot of them. Because I have to plant trees... Eventually, I don't really know why else you would want to plant trees. So off we go again. Ah, you had to complete both areas, I see. Uh, yep, and then go here. 
Was this here before? I don't think it was here before. Oh, and now there's new stuff. What the hell are those? Huh. Those are cool. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. Just like... Depending on, I guess, which gateway you've gone into, you get different things that you can plant in the area. Oh, and now it changed again. So is it a different plant now? Yep. Back to being... Well, I guess those are different trees. And there's one more ball to press. Yeah, I like the tree growing. This is a little busy in here. All the trees everywhere. And now I'm out. We got another gate here. Oh wow, a lot of gates here. So this is like a new area kind of thing I'm going into? Seems like it. Whoa, a dragon. No? I don't know what these are. But they look nice. Yeah, I, I like it so far. It's, you know, doesn't say anything. No words, no nothing. It's just a visual experience. Visual and auditory or whatever experience. I am interested in seeing where it goes. So I'm going to leave it off there for today and see where it takes us. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.